very telling point, I thought, that Donna made that. And there's no doubt, you know, she loves her job and wants to succeed. But she said, many of our new police officers, do you hear what she just said? Don't know how to investigate crime. So, more cops, but are we better off if a third of her force have literally just left the classroom? It's not as good as it looks, is it? Yes, it's not just the numbers that got impacted by austerity, because so many experienced cops, when their pay and their pensions and other entitlements got butchered, headed for the exit door. And there was an absolute sea of experience that, that disappeared, quite simply, not to be replaced. And policing is one of those jobs where experience is crucial. So I celebrate the fact that the 20,000 yeah. target's yeah. been hit today. I'm very glad that Mr Sunak is celebrating Mr Johnson's target being met. <laughs> but but the, the, the difficulty is, or maybe, how stridently have these officers been vetted? We know there's been a lot of issues with vetting. Who's trained them and how thorough is that training? A lot of training from various police services well, has been outsourced. What Donna was suggesting was that most of the training has been in the classroom. Yep, indeed. But a good teacher in the classroom yeah, okay. can bring okay. practical skills yeah. for them to, to learn from. And thirdly, who's going to escort these puppies? Who's going to do the puppy walking, which is a common expression for taking probations out in policing? In my day, you would go with an experienced cop who would have the minimum of five years, because in my day they used to say, until you've got five years in, you don't know what you're doing. Um, and there's some truth to that. Really? Yeah. So, yes, I do harbour those concerns. I'm happy the target's been hit. The Met's got a lot of work to do. But it's going to be far from a perfect policing world for a long, long time. Yeah. And, I mean, they say that it's a much more diverse police force. Um, but let's hope that, above all, they've recruited on quality, not just to meet yet more targets. But sticking with figures, Peter, for a moment, I was having a look before we came on air at crime figures and looking at the Met's numbers and the government's claims, and I can't work out what's actually happening. I can't work out whether crime is rising, whether crime is falling. Is there any sort of gold standard that we can go to to measure what is really happening with crime in this country? The government will tell you the crime survey of England and Wales. Yes. Police will tell you their recorded figures. But if you compare those like it appears you have done, you just end up bewildered. tearing your hair out. I don't think there's any reliable crime stats because so many people have become disillusioned with policing that they come outside their house in the morning, see the window broken on their car and go, what's the point? Nothing will be done. Well, so actually what you're suggesting, and I think this is right, is a lot of crime now simply doesn't get reported. Absolutely. Walk through the streets of any city and look at the criminal damage that has been done. Look at the walls that have been daubed. Look at the revolting stuff that tries to part, call itself graffiti, mm. which is daubed all over our great cities. Mm. That's a crime. That's criminal damage. None of that features in any crimes, that I would imagine, because the owners of it just shrug their shoulders, pick up the phone and get somebody to come and jet wash it off, hopefully. Same with the, the people with their broken win windows in their cars. Same with assaults. People get assaulted, and I'm sure that is woefully underreported. People come out of a pub in the evening and get into a dust-up. That's not going to get reported. And, of course, we also know that violence against women and girls mm. that so often happens behind closed doors and to men mm. in terms of domestic yeah. violence yeah. is chronically underreported, which is why so many lives are horrendously blighted by it. And I urge anybody, if we want to have a true landscape in, in terms of how much crime is being committed, no matter how minor it is, no matter how frustrating it might be to report it, Please do that so we can get an accurate picture. A real plea of that, Peter Blexley, and because we do need proper figures. I can't work it out. You can't work it out. It, it really is a mess. But we must... Yeah, Peter is right. However hopeless it feels, we must report crime.